All right, so from time to time, you may want to get just the guard hairs off of something like this squirrel hide. And uh, you, the easiest way that I found to do it, although it can be time consuming if you need a bunch of it, is to get two clips like this. And you want the hide kind of folded in the direction where you get the longest run of these little hairs to stand up like so. And you come in with your clip, you clip on, you try to stay off of that under fur the best you can. And then with a long pair of scissors, come in and cut close to the clip itself. Now that's going to get majority of the fur, but if you can see that there's still a little under fur. So if you want the under fur totally out, you may have to adjust this. And you go back to back with the clips, readjust the front one to expose more of that under fur, and then come back in with your scissors again. And now you've got just the actual guard hairs. So if you're looking to get just guard hairs, um, you know, you may have to put this in a little container or something. But if you're looking just to put it in something like a dubbing loop uh, right away, then you can, you know, you can set this guy right inside the loop. The camera's kind of out of the way, or my vice is out of the way of the camera, just like so. And then, you know, spin it up with your favorite dubbing twister, and uh, just use it right off, right off the bat, just like that. Whoa, fuzzy. That's it. That's how you can get just your guard hairs. Happy tying, everybody. Take care.